G'day there, I'm Jesse Crow, the Travelling Scientist, and after spending years studying pharmacology, I'm here to help you live smarter, happier, and healthier lives. Recently, I created a video about getting a blood test to check your vitamin, mineral, and hormone levels. And in this video, I'm going to help you understand the results of your test. I've also made a cheat sheet that simplifies all your essential vitamins and minerals and how to balance them to maximize your health. And that's totally free, you can download it from any time in the description just down below. Today I'm going to be explaining your complete blood count, or CBC. Firstly, your red blood cell count, or RBC. Your red blood cells carry oxygen to every cell in your body, which keeps everything running smoothly. If you're an adult male, you should have between 4.3 and 5.8 million red blood cells per microliter of blood. And if you're an adult female, you should have between 3.9 and 5.2 million red blood cells per microliter of blood. If your red blood cell count is lower than expected, this is called anemia, and it's really common. The best way to increase your red blood cell count is to consume more iron. Check your iron levels, and if they're low, start consuming more iron-rich foods or taking a daily iron supplement. And if your red blood cell count is higher than expected, it could be because your blood oxygen level is low, so your body will try to compensate for that by producing excess red blood cells. Next is your white blood cell count, or WBC. White blood cells are part of your immune system, and they help to protect you from infectious diseases, like COVID, so, you know, kind of important. Your white blood cell count should be between 4,500 and 11,000 white blood cells per microliter of blood. If your white blood cell count is lower than expected, this is called leukopenia, and it could mean that you're more susceptible to infections. And if your white blood cell count is higher than expected, this is called leukocytosis, and you can talk to your doctor more if you're concerned about that. Finally, your platelet count. Platelets are small cell fragments that are involved in blood clotting, and a normal platelet count is between 150,000 and 450,000 platelets per microliter of blood. If your platelet count is lower than expected, this is called thrombocytopenia, which sounds really cool, but that basically means that your blood won't clot properly. And if you get wounded, you might lose a lot of blood because your platelets aren't clotting. If your platelet count is higher than expected, this is called thrombocytosis, which also sounds really cool, but it means you have a slightly increased risk of spontaneous blood clots, which can lead to heart attack and stroke, which is less than ideal but you'll probably be fine. Anyway, there you go guys. I hope this information helps you to understand your blood test results a little bit better. And just remember that if your results are slightly out of the average range, don't stress. Variation is very normal among different people. And if you are concerned about any of your results, you can contact your doctor and ask them for advice. And thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions for me, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.